Okay, so calling us to order. Blah blah. We're in order. Good. Okay. Um I put this down the agenda and then I didn't ask her what they do and what that, but she probably knows this. How is our actual cost on this contract tracking the amount of budget? Like are we above or below what we projected? Currently? Yeah. About six months in a year. So I thought I'd be good to know. And then I wonder, because I thought Billy would be good on this one, what is the average time to come out? In other words, we're all paying for the tax rate. So how much trash are we all really paying for individually versus paying for the Right? We can get the number of households, right? Well, you might already have that. Yeah. What's the number of households versus West Newbury? Yes, West Newbury, I haven't seen it. West Newbury is smaller than this because they have bigger ad they want. We're like, are we like 2,400 or 2,600? What? Households? Yeah, what do you think? We're at 28. 28, 35. What does that mean to read about? This Newberry would be, what do you think this Newberry is like? 1700? 1800? They're bigger lots. They're bigger lots. They're bigger lots. Yeah. Most of them. I think it's two of them. Not two of them. Most of them. Boxford, for sure. Yeah. This Newberry's kind of spread. This Newberry's in the same position. Yeah. They're a little more so. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah. Right. We're currently at 49%. So we're, so we're, so we're tracking pretty even. That's through December? Yes. So we're, okay. we're tracking pretty even compared to the... Okay, so we're just the amount of money spent. You can actually do the calculation just to put the... I don't understand what that means, 49%. 49% of their allocation of $735,000. So, so we spent $500,000, Oh, of our two-year contract. Okay, so how no, much... No. Just for this fiscal year allocation. Okay, so how oh, much through June? Yeah, so how much have we spent to date? Three hundred and seventy-four thousand. Excuse me, three hundred and sixty thousand seven hundred nineteen dollars. Three sixty. Seven seven nineteen. Does that include every bill we get, like the two different bills? Thank you for recycling. Thank you. Three hundred sixty-seven thousand and nineteen dollars. Well, income dollars. This one. Three hundred sixty-seven thousand. Okay. Okay. And then we we're estimating our households to be what? 20. Because it's 90%. Yeah, okay. Um, 367. Then, how many households? Uh, households, I believe it's like 2,000. <coughs> this is tons, right? Oh, no, that's the cost. Mm -hmm. That's the cost, and we price it out in tons. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I think it's a so do you think that's going to When you do households, but do, what do they have to account for? Like, what's the number? Just that? That's one household? Because they do their own trash and have their new business. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Wait, so you know who you don't have to do? I'm sorry, what was that? 2,617. And this is over a six, you're saying this is a six month per number of problems? Yes. So it's costing the average household $276 per year. Wow. Yeah, that's a number of years Yeah. So if I double what we spent, divided by the number of households. Okay. It's 275, 67, so 276. Which so, is the 
Hmm. Because when I was thinking about what you were talking about, why people would want to sign up for that compost and what you have to pay, right? For myself, I would sign up if I was paying for what I have to allow. Because then I would throw out less. And what I can't quite wrap my hand head around is how, like they say here, this is one of the sheep, 153 municipalities out of the 352. <coughs> so a little less than half, 43%. Um, and it represents 59 municipalities that do pay as you throw. But I wonder, is there only one definition is pay as you throw? Is there a pay as you throw where they come pick it up? Or is, you know what I mean, where there's just one contract and it's everybody's on the same pay as you throw? That's what I'm starting to. So remember the initial document we looked at for how we do the proposal and all? I feel like we have to start getting towards that. Because otherwise, we'll be again this year and next year. Hey, hi! Hey, buddy. Is this seat taken or what? You can have this seat over here, but Bill. Yeah. I like your picture of the overflowing recycling bin. Yeah. That, that to me on. was like a, a classic, you yeah, know. Baby. What's wrong with this picture? We loved those little things when they first came out. I remember getting mine. I was so I was so excited about it. Now it looks like um, the stupidest, dumbest the idea we ever had. But it's a time. Yeah, I was behind you. Yeah. 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 The back report that we're tracking um, within the trash budget this year, believe it or not, we're good. You know, like, what did you say, percentage of the budget spent? 49, I think. Yeah, so halfway through the year, we spent about half of the budget. And then we were just trying to figure out how much is each household actually paying for their trash pickup, right? Because we're all paying the same amount <coughs> in our taxes. Although, if you vary it by assessment, I mean by assessed value, I guess we could break it down that way too, right? The one thousand of assessed value. Well, on average, no, yeah. no, we pay in our taxes. So it's yeah. just so like someone with a bigger house will pay more than someone with a lower priced house. But on average, we say two hundred seventy-six dollars a year a household pays in their trash. Okay, I think you got to because you have to take out of the equation what. The Town pays for the town's trash. So uh, well, why why uh, wouldn't that be in our trash budget? Yeah, it would be in our trash budget, but not in the household. No, but we're paying for the town. Well, this, right? this 360 so includes the town. A portion of it. So that, does this, in, this includes the dumpsters too, right? The price includes the dumpsters. Yeah. So, but it doesn't include the ton. Yeah. No, so but like I mean the tonnage of what the dumpsters is it, it, is it there, so abuse can cause an issue. So, like for example, we had abuse over at South Station, we had abuse over at Washington Park. So we removed mm -hmm. the dumpsters yes. purposely because people were dumping their residential trash in those bigger right. containers. So right. then, instead of having those, we have like those bigger totes that right. they put there so and they pick up. So my point is, we know that the, the abuse happens. We know that. People can take, can have their own business and bring this trash on the floor out right here. And a lot of times they get picked up. Because in order for us not to pick it up, I was reading through the West Newburgh account. When, when they determine that someone has put out something that's not okay, they have to tag it and they have to report it to somebody working at the town hall who is on top of this. Uh. Oh, so we could have a designated trash. Well, mm -hmm. think of scenario back to the administrative post of yeah. managing all of this. So, my question kind of was if you started to look at a proposal to go to pay as you throw, so that people could say, All right, I'm not going to spend 200 cents, therefore, I'm going to direct part of my money towards compost. I want to sign up for this program, and if we get enough people, then we can all do it, right? Or you can. Yeah. 
Yeah, I just wanted to let it. <clears throat> I'll do it with you. Yeah, we'll have you do it so for sure. Yeah, let me know about it. Um, but there is another company that's coming oh. already serves the okay. world. Okay. So, so, I mean, we can still continue to look at contractually something that, like what we have now, maybe splitting or something away from the trash to see if that gets us a better bid. You know, we just, I'm not sure that it really went wrong. I know West Newbury has two contracts for their recycling. Two different companies? Um, yes. Yes. I think it's Mellow, their trash company, maybe. Yeah, and then they have something that begins with a C. Have you seen the trucks? Casella. Say it again? Casella. Casella, that sounds like it. I believe that's their recycling. And I was reading, like I said, I've been reading through the details, and you know, anybody that has time to read through other ones that uh, Rebecca and I was posting on what contract, just read, see what you see, because I'm just trying to, when we put out a request for proposals, it might not be a bid, it might be proposals, we have to be specific about what we want and what we don't want. And that's what we have to try to research and figure out. That's why we're starting <laughs> This far out for when we start to take new proposals. Excuse me, but do you think there's a chance that we're going to go the route that we're going to let people be responsible for uh, their trash pickup? And well, they're going to get that money off their taxes? Well, then <laughs> I'm trying. Well, here's the thought. That's um, so funny. Yeah. Okay. The few thoughts I mean, I, I'm not a big fan of underwrite just because you take a little bit off and before you know it, you're back to back. But I can say that if trash is taken out of the tax rate, then there would never be a reason to have an override for your trash pickup ever again. And if you stay your trash in the tax rate, it's a budget buster. You're going to need to put that in a future override because it just... Well, that seems to be a new conversation here. Right. So I just... So, wow. So the point that I was making in pay as you throw is that if we were trying to open it up for people who perhaps want to do composting, where you have to pay another fee to get the compost picked up. Why would you want to do that if you're already paying a tax to have it all picked up at the trash? Why should I, I mean, not to be mean, but why should I subsidize the rest of the people in town? Well, if you tell me, okay, Kathy, you're going to either buy your stickers or your own bags, and you have, that's how much you spend to throw your trash away. I and used then, one of my overflow bags the other day. I felt so good about that. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> it is kind of a thin bag, though, isn't it? No, it was great. You yeah. thought it was okay? Oh, yeah. I, I put okay. the, the big 32 down. Oh, all right. Okay. I said, I'm going to do the right thing today. So yeah. I put it in one of the purple ones. It was fun. There you go. Yeah. Thank you. It was easy. I was complaining. You should have taken a picture of yourself. No, I don't want to be like <laughs> well, that. I, mean, I already <laughs> bragged about it on TV. So. I mean, I do. Because I, I had shown um, Kathy and, and Jan and I had very people pictures of like my neighbors who don't use the overflow bags. They just have overflown trash mm. cans out there and they don't have any recycling at all. So like how I thought we were a recycling required community. Well, everything's required, but and how do we fix that? So here's what I'm you're wondering not. if we look into a true page of your community, will we be able to find a way to not have the town be um, inundated with phone calls because so much trash is sitting out of place. You know, to, to, yeah, to take this particular task out of the administration of the town. And then, of course, I though I think it. the Board of Health would still be responsible though, if somebody started to leave trash out to find them or something. Oh, yeah, because so it's, that's going to be it's a health hazard, right? I mean, that's what people already do. So, how are you going to? Well, yeah. they do, but they pick it all up. enforcement now, how do we enforce something that may be even more prevalent but, in this situation? No, no, no. Right. I'm thinking if it's pay as you throw, the contractor is telling yeah, you, exactly. he's only going to take what you put, if you put it in the right barrel with a sticker or a bag, or he's not taking it because you contracted with him. You have a customer number. So they can call the company directly. It's their own problem. Did you ever call the 800 number for those families? Yes. Okay, you know this? Because we're a municipal contract. 
you don't have a special number to punch in. Customer number. That's, I believe that's what the paid you throw people have. You punch in your customer number and you tell them I've trash or something. Who, who uh, does that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, and so they can sit to your page. Right. Right. You have to buy your stickers or whatever you're buying. Right. But if you, if you have those pages, you tell them you have your own contract. Okay. What to say, you have your own contract. It says, okay. according to this fact sheet, again, it's a big promotional yeah. page you throw, it's saying that. Um, you would not know the facts are the trash. Right. You would not be able, because it's that, not in the town budget right. anymore. Right. right. So. In 2018, the average amount of solid waste generated in pays and throwers. There's another one they call them SMART. I forget what that stands for. Oh, here, you might like this one. Instead of going pays and throw, call it SMART. Save money and reduce trash. How do you like that? I like it, but okay. I do that. I thought it'd be more. Well, it's just an acronym with different than pays and throw. We could choose. Right. We get to choose the acronym. I just like SMART and SMART. So, yeah, yeah. but um, <laughs> they're claiming that 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 those communities sixty five percent less trash tonnage and stuff. That they see an immediate reduction, and I mean we're gonna have to get into this you know, the town that's really doing this to find out how we do it. You know specifically, do we need to still have someone in the town building responsible? Or can do these companies truly manage this? You know, like our mail delivery is not run by the time. Right. You don't get your mail, leave it. Right. You don't take care of yourself. Well, what Jason seems to think if we just talk to the driver, then that could solve our well problems. But I don't think that's fair to do to the because the minute so to you make the driver and the horse when they see extra trash. Extra trash yeah. or not recycling. Because I, the I minute he doesn't pick it up. Like he does, he tags the recycling when it's too late. I tried to tell him that. Mm -hmm. I know. I told so him that. He said it doesn't matter. I'm going to leave three matter. tons of trash on the sidewalk at the end of my route mm -hmm. that I could charge for. That's and what I told back, him. And my boss is going to be happy I know. I, 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 I. Okay. But he said it doesn't matter. We should just be able to talk to the driver. If we, if the driver leaves bags of trash or a can of trash, the they're gonna call. Well, I'll put out the levels. Jason's right here. Same <laughs> same no, but hopefully they do this in a lot of other communities. That's how it works. And they do it closely. So, like I said, you should probably bring waste management here and talk to them about it. But I also just Thank think you. that Thanks, it's Jason. going to be an ongoing, I mean, just much as I've appreciated what everybody in town has done, there certainly a lot more people have complied than not. Yes. Okay. I, mm -hmm. You know, based on what we saw during the pandemic, mm -hmm. and now, right. right? I think maybe, maybe the conversation should be more, um, there's always going to be a certain percentage. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the big picture is, if you have a all reduce our cash for all benefit. Yes. You know, and the person that's putting extra stuff on, they reduce their cash for them. Yes, they are. Mm -hmm. So right. and it's gonna cost us less. And yes. we're in this contract for a while longer. It's One still more, gonna yeah. cost us less if we reduce our cash during this year because we're paying for time for everything we put in. Right. And you'd be preparing yourself for the next step. Exactly. Exactly. No matter where we go, because I mean whether we decide so we, we want to be the first or who we really think are really doing, you know, on a consistent basis, putting out super amount of trash without buying the bags. I haven't um, seen hardly any bags. Guilty. Um, right there. Yeah, guilty. I mean, just. I don't know how I can reduce my trash either. I know that's a novel idea, but how am I going to reduce my trash? Well, you know, you can. I'll talk to you later, man. I'd like to know because I, I'm baffled by that assumption. Yeah, I'm thinking that it's possible. Looking, looking at what you're putting in there. I can throw some of the family out, and then maybe I'll bless you. There you go. But other than that, I don't see a way. Well, I don't know what you throw out, like five, huh? six pieces yeah, of stuff. I got a I don't. Yes, I snatched them out of the trash. I dumped your building. Daughter-in-law and the sister. And they are over okay. most of the time. 
But you can also contract like other towns negotiate with have more than one bag, one thirty-two. Oh, so come by my house. I was just telling you have more than one thirty-two. But I'll have three of those containers. There are some places that take milk. And we need to do it. So, to your point, I feel like we need to work on it. Right. Right. So, I mean, if you want, we can't go down just one. We have to, like, go back and sit down to the house. Right. I got two kitchen bags. Something. So, we get some information. Maybe we also talk to Roy. Is it Roy at Waste Management? We talk to Roy. And we get some more information. But I think we need. This is, these sheets are all real nice and pretty, but they're just like a boilerplate overview. They don't tell us specifically, how do you no, do this? How do you move from this to yeah. this? Well, yeah, I mean, what do you do when someone's trash isn't done right if it's left there? Well, like Jason said, it, it's it's a lot of inner cities. No, there are no box for this page. I think box for this page. That would be very good. And see their program and understand. Yeah, just hear how they're doing it and help everybody kind of. Yeah, because like they say, they tell you a stick of food can. Because also how they administer the program. Because when I worked in Oxford, there was a lot of administration. And they would tell me, if you'd like to buy their stickers, either a town hall or a library, they got trash papers. Okay. So you put a sticker on each bag of trash? Or, or buy the bags. And that's the really bad it was, at that yeah. time, it was stickers, but I'm sure it's different now. Yeah. It could be a combination of all the above. I do have to recall that. Yeah, yeah, and get some, because I think the more specific we can get, and then did you want to talk about the other composting company? That yeah, I just time? wanted to mention that because I know Jim, you were going to look through the other reach out again to. Um, well, it uh, sounds uh, like you got somebody that's already doing it. Yeah, well, I, this is the thing. I was walking to the post office and I saw a coffee out there on the uh-huh. street and I he said coffee. So wow. I, I talked to the woman who was also there and she is actually using a compost um, company called Bootstrap Compost. <laughs> Bootstrap. And they do pick up already in Baldwin. Wow. I haven't had a chance to call them, but mm. if you want to get involved in the compost program, you can do it. Does it look like you have to do, you know, have a hundred? It's four dollars a barrel in Foxford. Four dollars per thirty-two gallon barrel. Yeah, and if it's so anyways, it's called bootstrap compost. And I was going to give you a dollar. Because I'm going to ask to close. Well, times fifty-two weeks, that's about kind of sort of low pain. Two mm-hmm. to five, yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sorry, but you, if you put out less trash, you're going to pay it. Yeah, so you can put out less than... I mean, there are weeks now. I, don't put out I mean, what if somebody put out one bag of trash? I mean, that's so then maybe you don't put it out there. Right. Wait till you get full bag. Oh. So then you cut your, you you cut your trash cost in half. So if we did like a pay as you throw or a barrel, four dollars a barrel thing, well, then people. I still like the idea of having. Um, yes. Thank you for fixing yeah, yeah, the like uniform barrels, the matching bit. But that gets the town back involved in, unless unless these towns have a way of doing it. I guess what I'm thinking about is I'm looking at our administration at one <laughs> And she's doing everything. We need a trash star. Well, we're not going to get well, hired. The issue throw is talking about trash. It's not talking about recycling. Yeah, that's another whole program. Right. So that's now is the rule. Rebecca, do you know is recycling, when you do recycling, does that have to be part of the town budget? Like we could take, if it's page you throw, can we take it out of the, the omnibus budget? Yes, I mean, essentially what you have for a lot of the communities that they have with the school will contract and that's all. Okay. So we would still have to have recycling. You, you wouldn't need to allocate the funding if that funding isn't necessary. Well, I'm just wondering when we go, let's say we go to vote the omnibus, there'll be no more line for trash pickup, but there would have to be a 
the line for the recycling contract because they know we paid the recycling. Yes. So you have to find another service to provide or another. Okay. Because you can't do. There's no such thing as page throw recycling. But. For sure. It also might be a, I haven't seen it yet. Well, she found a recycling company. A uh, compost right company. Now. It's in town already. I know. So you shouldn't rule anything out. That's true. That's true. Mm -hmm. I feel like this feels like one action item is, to Jim's point, how do you reduce your trash? So I wonder, can we get together and work on making a list of how to reduce trash and then filling mm -hmm. it out? Yes, flushing it out. It, 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 there's so much on the website already. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, I know I looked at it. Put a bunch of more stuff on the well, could we put something in the next do. real estate map? Right. I don't. For how to reduce your trash? Yeah. And when is that? Um, okay. It's quarterly. So, March is the next month we lose with it. We'll get there, right? Could yeah. we put something like a colored piece of paper, something about how to reduce some some ideas, some like our top five ideas on how to reduce your trash? Where do you want to put it? As a little insert in real yeah. estate. And Jan and I will get together yeah. Yeah. and yeah. make that. Yeah. Um, depending on when you want to do it and depending on what system you have in place, you can make that. Does it just turn up much? Uh, it's quarterly, yeah, they just turn up Who stuffs those envelopes? Currently it's done in house, but we are looking to um, have enough code. So if we had something printed up, we would just, you would, we would give you the thing, you would have it printed up and insert it. So, go girls. How to reduce trash. Is Jason outside the door still? Is he pretty? Jason! <laughs> he could walk in the room. Oh, no, it's not Jason. That's right. I thought it was Jason. I thought I saw a foot in there. Maybe it's Jason. He politely declined. He declined us. That's already Jason. Dragon? Yeah. He's doing something. Okay. So, what are you doing? Yeah. Well, yeah, we're not going to make the January one. Right? Yeah. And so, March one. Insert. Like, I mean, it'll be simple. Keep it simple. Right. Like the top five ideas. Yes. Yeah. Like, just, anything will help. Yeah. Anything will help. So, like, um, I just threw together the, and these aren't my pictures, but this is like a brochure that I was like looking at. Don't get us in trouble with any copyright. It's no, no, this. no. This I'm was too just, young to go to jail. Right, right. I would have my own photo. But I made the, I made like a little list of the plastic yeah. thing from Jan's um, oh, update. The trucks, the yeah, trucks. so like that's what I was making, was adding a pretty little bit. And before we run out of time, yeah. let's um, yeah. do all the okay. compost thing. Oh yeah. So bootstrap we, compost. Them. I haven't had a chance to call them, I just found out Saturday. But they're already they working have, in Yeah, you know, she's on Main Street. Does she say uh, she, she puts out a five, she does the five eight. Um, if you do it weekly, you can put out a five gallon bucket because it has a liner in it. Okay. And that costs eleven dollars a week. If you do it bi weekly, it's sixteen dollars per visit. Just for so a week. Week. Yeah. And what they do is they take your bucket full of compost and it can include bones and everything else. No, rather than your home compost you can't take bones and stuff in there. No? But for the, the municipal thing, they'll take a whole bunch of stuff and um, then they give you a clean bucket. And she says she's been using them for maybe three years and they've been wonderful. Three years. Yeah. Now, do they, the one thing I, I wondered about, because I actually asked you yeah. Oh, and the last thing is yes. that you get five gallons of compost in your town every time you put them in Oh, per year, not every two weeks. Okay, good. I was thinking they're going to start dumping every two weeks. That's yeah, it's too much compost. No, no, no. Again, per year. That's nice. So, which is the same thing that Black Earth was. But so basically, you're taking like it's kind of, it's egg a shells, vegetables that you that you don't want that. All the, so all your all your food waste except for bones. No bones. They take it too. All the bones too. Okay. You can take lobster No shell. household members comes. <laughs> we don't want that. For those. The grove room. The dark <laughs> side of the grove room. That's really, really We scary. don't want the dark side of the grove room. Yeah. No, so I was just thrilled because... And really the fun. coffee grinds. I remember my mother used to put coffee grinds in the grove room. Yeah. That's a lot. I think a lot of stuff 
that we throw out of home, just the tips. It's pretty. Yeah. You know. So that would be a way to, so people could just sign up and, and they would have their own contract and the time would have to, would have to do nothing with it. And all of a sudden you're paying less rent. Yes. No you know. administration anymore either. Right. Nobody calls the town hall anymore. Oh, they still will. You know. Oh, no, we won't let them do yeah, that. Yeah, no, they will, but you'll just say, we're going to disconnect sorry. that number. <laughs> it's breaking. <laughs> <laughs> But so there are people in Groton who are doing this. Yeah. Which is a very There's a lot There's of a lot of people who are doing the process. Right. So right. I think yes, I agree. And then and then the working model, the reason to go to patient go would be we will not have to override the tax rates for your trash and it's gonna be outside the country. Recycling will be another animal. You know, depending on how I'm still not. By all this stuff. Yeah. I'm sorry, I, just, I do think that Dr. Fox would be a good point because some okay. other coordinator. Right. I'm happy with that. Yeah, would you like to do that? That'd be super. Actually, we don't really have to have them come in to say no. if she needs all the That's information. Yeah, yeah. That would be easier on them and exactly. quicker for I us. I could go to their town. Right, right. Yeah. That'd, be so, that'd be fantastic. Exactly. The more information we get, the more we get. So, so probably our next futuristic meeting, we should we should put down the form that we're going to have to start to wrap our head around. You know, no, I mean just so that we have it in our yeah, so we have in our head what it is because you can't just go into this willy nilly. You have to have. The selectmen going to ask us for something soon. Oh no. Okay. Yeah, they're snowing. <laughs> they're glad this is going on. I give them updates, I tell them where we're at. But this is looking more, much more doable. Yeah, I was really curious being late. Yeah. You guys were talking about. I just don't know how you the sale of stickers and bags. We're going find out. You know how much we're paying in after this, how easy it is. Yeah. But all of the facilities that are like apartment buildings or condo development. We don't do it. They do their own thing anyway. Right? Mm -hmm. So the only other I thing guess so, right? They pay somebody else. Yeah, so right. When I was it reading is, about that, was, was it on Mother Earth or Black Earth? Whatever the first conference was called. They, they did the talk trash. about doing yeah. things with schools. And even though it doesn't really say, I mean, it would be great if our elementary school would jump in on the conference. Yeah. See all the food those kids throw yeah. out for lunch? And You're also, required. Required. There are certain certain things. Things. but I mean, is, is that a conversation we should broach with the school or are we poking our nose in? Let's poke our nose in. I, I, because I, you know, like, don't ask, you don't get. I poked it in at Woody when she's getting me their trash contract because I said, this is the next generation that's going to buy homes. Do you want me to reach out to and throw out food and not and know. Why wouldn't you teach them that? Right. Right? Blair and West Movie Mall, so this is Dagna. She was saying, ask for it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we've got to start. Okay. Yeah. Well, you don't have any more. That's where West Movie So I'm hoping by the time we hit, well, that's good. And then we maybe will hit this point. By the time we hit June, we're going to know the specs of what we're going to do. Cool. This is really smart, right? Because we'll be then entering our last year. And we want this to be way up front. Right, Rebecca, how soon do you want this thing settled as far as trash in the last period of the last year? Given our recent budgetary struggles and our upcoming budget cycle, this would be yeah. a good idea. Okay, but let's say that we're pushing to try to know what kind of a proposal can we go off with. Would June be too late to have that? I have a year to get it out. Right. Okay. okay. So we just have to formulate what it's going to be. And that's if we do decide to go up for a more competitive bid because we're not bound to such a good approach the cost. Yes. So we can still talk to Ms. Madison. We can still Maddie. shop around and we can still get quotes about what you would like for the next contract. You don't have to go through a steel competitive bid process. No, we're talking about the, the outline you have for like when you request for. Yes. You definitely want to have a, a, 
Yeah, your, your scope of services that you're looking yes, for. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Yes. We need to get that straight. We can't be all that zigzagging yes. back and forth on that. Yes, you are correct. You okay. will be just fine. Okay. But any later, we get in a little bit. Okay. Yeah. So, we're quickly the fortune. Perhaps. I feel like we're getting much better understanding. Well, I think the proposal would be a lot easier to prepare than the first one. Yes. Yes. But we don't, yeah, knowing, so knowing what we want. We're going to let Chris go on it. Um, so, next meeting, what do you think we need to talk about? I think we you're should. You're going to Boxford. I feel like you're doing everything for next meeting. Next meeting is February. Yes. yes. That gives us four meetings basically before June. Yes. I would think that we should begin to put together what we want for a, a salary. Uh, a scope of work mm -hmm. okay. so that we can begin to get some kind of request for proposals back to see what the possibilities that are out there. I think we're premature for that because I think we got to listen to it. She's going to find out because that, if she the finds 26th, out my points in the direction that we feel more strongly to go in. We might just do a whole bunch of stuff and then it doesn't end up where we go. So I think we got to get a report from her back as soon as possible. But the February meeting, we should be able to. It gives us four months, months before she needs to start. And Rebecca, you're listening to all that. I don't know. I so, okay. um, we need to choose Just so we don't go too far time. down somewhere. We have to all have go. something oh, to do. Oh, no. We, <laughs> have <to go> next <laughs> meeting. we don't all have to have something to do, but like the old yeah. saying goes, you know, the. Of our yeah, thing more hands away in the work. Yes. Right. Oh, yeah, so, that'd be nice. We do it this weekend. You know, we do whatever we can do. Maybe we can just do it. We all have a lot of lives. Maybe we didn't you know. Right. 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 I like that. I said, I grabbed this stack of socks right out of the garden. They can choose to. I know, I read that on the bench. But I bet you a lot of people don't know that they throw their kids' shoes in the garbage. <laughs> so the, that's why we, we, we need to spell it out. Okay. Right? Yeah, but I, I don't, they're particular about how, aren't they? I don't know how that works. They're drop off on yeah. Wednesdays or something? No, they haven't been there. Okay. Yeah, you just can't leave stuff outside of the bed. Okay. I can't do that. I think fabric and like worn out socks and shoes that you're going to throw in the trash. And now we know we can put them in the bin and take them out of the trash. Yeah. And you're helping your trash. Yeah, right. Yeah. We'll narrow it down. Right. Well, and I have a call in the second. I have a call in the email to the electric company. Is there any allowances for natural seed and box bags in the trash box track currently? So there's kinds of incentives and rebates that have to be checked out. So, yeah, I want to get the air fryer. Yeah, the air fryer. My husband has this too. I always get a year from the last one I walk in my store. And I feel like two of us And then I feel like two of us are going to be able to do that. And so I feel like two of us are going to be able to do that. And so I feel like two of us are going to be able to do that. And so I feel like two of us are going to be able to do that. Yeah, that our option doesn't feel good. I mean, when you walk down Washington Street, it's a small area. Um, okay, we're going to wrap and conclude now. We make a motion to adjourn for Motion to adjourn. I'll second that. Okay. All in favor of adjourning. Aye. We're adjourned. Goodbye.